In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert audio on a PowerPoint slide. Now keep in mind, please, that any audio files you insert into your PowerPoint, unless they're clip art, uh, need to be saved in the same folder as the actual PowerPoint itself. That way uh, it'll always play correctly. All right, so we're going to begin by inserting some really basic audio, and there are a couple of options. You can insert sound effects, you can insert music, or you could create a narration, like uh, you talking over or explaining something as part of the PowerPoint presentation. So there are a lot of different options here. We're going to start with the simplest, which would be to add a sound effect from the clip art library. So, as with anything you want to put into a PowerPoint presentation, we're going to come up here to Insert, and all the way to the right, you'll find the audio section. And if I click on the down arrow there, you'll see my three options. I can insert audio from a file, so that would be something like a piece of music or a piece of narration that I've recorded or saved on my computer. The next one is to add clip art audio, and that's what we're going to do in a second here. And then the last one is to record audio onto the slide. So that is a really nice feature if you're trying to give students some additional instruction. This is especially useful if you're creating a presentation for younger children who may not yet be able to read everything you might want them to know. All right, so we're going to go to the clip art audio section. And I might search for frog. You guys know I have an obsession. There we go. And I get a series of potential sound effects that I can add to my presentation. I'm going to click on this frogs at night. And sometimes it does take a second to add it to your presentation, so be patient. There we go. And you'll see this little speaker icon here. Now this can be moved around anywhere on your screen and you can go back in and put in a text box uh, of information and stuff as well. So this doesn't have to be all alone on the slide. I'm going to leave it here in the middle so we can play with it a little bit. All right, so you'll notice immediately that this audio tools ribbon has appeared at the top. And that allows us to kind of change the appearance of the speaker icon itself. If you're going to leave that on your screen, then you could do things like add a drop shadow or put it in a circle for some reason if you wanted to. So you can change the appearance of that. Uh, you could also align it with other elements or rotate it on the screen and change the size of the icon itself. Then we can also go into the playback section, and this is going to be a little bit more important to us. We can play it to test it, um, add bookmarks and things to it, like uh, markers of, of things we want to listen to in particular. Another we thing we can do here is to trim the audio. If you really only want your users to hear a certain portion of the audio that you've inserted into your PowerPoint, you can trim it here. So you don't need any specialized software to do that. So for example, if you had a piece of, or you had the narration of the Gettysburg Address, and you only wanted to listen to the first you know, a few lines, you could trim it here and just listen to that beginning part. All right, we also have a fade in and fade out option. If you want your music to be quiet and then, you know, kind of get louder at the beginning and then loud and then turn to quiet as it fades out at the end, you can do that here. You can also adjust the volume of the piece in its entirety. So if you just want a very quiet background music, you might change the volume to low. If your sound effect seems glaringly loud, then we would turn that to medium or low, etc. And you can actually mute it entirely too. Why you would do that with a sound effect, I'm not sure. But you can do it with video, which can be convenient, and I'll show you that at another time. All right, your next options here are to start the piece of uh, audio on click automatically or across slides. And this depends on your instructional purpose. You would begin it automatically if it's the only thing on the slide or if it's something that you want to play no matter what. But if it's a little instructional piece, say it is that piece of the Gettysburg Address and you want your students to like read some questions and then listen to the piece, you would have them click. And if it's music that you might want to have play across several slides or even that Gettysburg narration, uh, you can do that here. You can also have it keep going and going by clicking this loop until stopped. And you can have it rewind to the beginning once it's done. The last thing you can do on this screen is to hide that speaker icon during the show so that the speaker itself is not showing up. This is a good idea if we're working with young children so they're not clicking on it at random. Alright, so that's the basics of inserting audio into a PowerPoint.